fiery protest have erupted in the Muslim world after anti-Islam activists in Denmark and Sweden recently staged public events where they burned or damaged copies of the Quran, the Islamic holy book. Reuters has elected not to show images of sacred texts being burned. The governments of both Denmark and Sweden have condemned the burnings and said they are considering new laws that could stop such acts. But that is not so easy, as critics point to freedom of speech and expression protected in their constitutions. At least three of the acts in Sweden over the past month have been led by Salwan Momika, a refugee from Iraq who says he's protesting against the whole institution of Islam. And far-right activists in neighboring Denmark began demonstrating against what it sees as Islamization of Nordic societies. At least 10 copies of the Quran have been burned in Denmark over the past week. Welcome. Danish-Swedish far-right activist Rasmus Peldon, the man behind sporadic Quran burning since 2017, has carried out even more in both countries this year. He says he's appalled by Turkey's opposition to Sweden's bid to join NATO. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan has said he will work to get Sweden's application to join NATO approved. But first, the Quran burnings must stop. It is very obvious those who allow such blasphemy in front of our embassy can no longer expect our support for their NATO membership. Protests have been far and wide, with the Swedish and Danish flags set on fire in retaliation. In January, demonstrators in Istanbul chanted, We are not only going to burn the flag, but Sweden itself. Where is the president of this country? On July 20th, hundreds of protesters, angry over a planned Quran burning, stormed and set alight the Swedish embassy in Baghdad. On that day, Iraq expelled the Swedish ambassador. Across the Middle East, Swedish and Danish ambassadors have been called in for rebukes and warnings. Intentionally burning the Quran is seen by Muslims as a blasphemous act worthy of severe punishment, as they consider the Quran to be the literal word of God. Both Sweden and Denmark say they are examining ways to legally limit burnings to de-escalate tensions with Muslim nations. But as of now, neither country has the legislation in place to forbid burning Qurans.